Good morning. This is August the 9th. We're talking about the fullness of the Spirit today, Ephesians 5, 18 through 21. As you've jumped up this morning and awakened and aroused yourself to the, to the newness of life that you have today in Christ Jesus in this day, you know, as you ever thought about how can I, a person here, a lowly person, one person on the face of the earth out of seven billion plus people, what can my life and how can it amount to something? You know, God has a plan and a purpose for each of us. So may you today think about this. Now, he's talking to a spirit person, a spirit being with the fullness of the Spirit, the fullness of the Holy Spirit. In Ephesians chapter 5, it says, Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing songs and hymns and spiritual songs and making melody in your heart, bringing thanksgiving to your Father and your God, the Lord Jesus, and subjecting yourself one to another. Have you this day thought about making melody in your heart, offering thanksgiving to God for another day to praise Him? Thanking Him for the wife you have, the, the house you have, the home you have, the job you have, the, the friends you have, the church you have, the country you have, the car you have, the children, the money you have. Everything that you have all encompasses what God has and is doing in mind in your life. So as we get up this morning, we're praising Him, we're honoring Him. You know, I get tickled at people, they say, you know, Jerry, you're always getting up early and you're always doing things. You know, I awaken about 3 or 4 in the morning and have an hour or two of prayer, even though I may still be in bed. I am praising and thanking Him. I am receiving feed and revelation about Jesus and the Holy Spirit, about the Word of God, so that I can teach and encourage others in the ways of the Lord. You know, it doesn't mean my life is not going to have some bumps and humps in the road. But it means that I can go through all these things that happen around me and that I can encourage others and show them, yes, we're going to have trials and tribulations. Yes, we're going to have set downs. Yes, we're going to have great triumphs. But yes, in all of this, our God is able to help us and encourage us and give us a vision to step out and trust Him even farther than we ever have before. You know, when you look at things and... and you know, as, as, as the person in the, in the body of Christ and the opportunities that God has given me, you know, everybody wants to give me, years ago they would try to say, well, you're an evangelist, you're a pastor, you're a teacher, you're this, you're an encourager, you're all these various things. And I know the gifts and callings of God are irrevocable on my life and upon you. But I, I sometimes wonder, I say, Lord, you know, People call and they want you to pray for them and they want you to stand immovable and they'll want you to pray in the Spirit and they'll ask you, see what the Holy Spirit is telling you about something in my life. Well, why would they put that kind of pressure on me if they thought I was anybody? It's not who I am, it's who Christ is in me. The hope of glory, the Holy Spirit that is in me on flesh. He is in you. That is the fullness of the Spirit that is in all of us. And we are to lift up one another, to encourage one another, to come forth. It's not who we are, it's who He is. The fullness of the Spirit is what the Spirit of God is revealing in each of us. You know, I don't know about you. Well, I do know about you. You wouldn't even listen to this CD this morning if you weren't as hungry for Jesus and the Holy Spirit as I am. You're so hungry that you just can't get enough. I met an 83-year-old woman and she's saying, I just cannot get enough. And so we have to learn to pray in the Spirit. We have to learn to worship in the Spirit. We have to learn to, to read God's Word, to study. You know, you have to force feed yourself sometimes when it is impossible and all things around you are bad and you don't say, I haven't got time. Let me tell you something, brother, sister. You need to pull aside and take time. The Word of God is more important than breathing. It is more important than your heart pumping. It is more important because one of these days you're going to need that word and when it is, your life is destitute and hurting, you're going to say, Jesus, and you're going to cry out and He's going to hear you. The Holy Spirit is going to cause you to want to cry out to Him and say, Lord, help me. And we call. He hears. He answers. There is no no's in, the, in, the, in our prayers. We have been falsely taught about this. May Jesus show you a better way today. In His name, amen.